So why did you take you. out Thank the ad? Why did you decide well, to do these, this? Well, these par listen, we're not running for office in, in any way here, but uh, our business is really predicated on people being able to enjoy the outdoors, and the outdoors is no more uh, better represented by the, than by the uh, national parks. And frankly, the government has such an enormous investment in these parks that we feel it's really important that that investment be supported and be protected. Uh, and that's really important to us, not only for the citizens of the United States who are our customers, but our company, which does about 40% of its business outside the U.S., is really well thought of because uh, people around the world think of America as an outdoor paradise. And, and we really need to make sure that these assets that we own and, and have supported for so long are protected. But, but why now? I'm sure there's been lots of political issues uh, that, that have annoyed you in the past. Uh, why did this one particularly spark you into action to spend, uh, I believe, $80,000 uh, of company money on something that uh, is politically motivated? Well, it's not politically motivated, frankly. This is, this is about, uh, again, allowing access and protecting the assets that we have invested in so heavily as a country. You know, this is not about which political party uh, is more in favor of the outdoors. In fact, the only party that's against the outdoors is the Donner Party. So this is about protecting and, and making available assets that the companies that the country has uh, invested so heavily in uh, for a long time. I'm guessing, Tim, that um, the decision to do this uh, at least had to come after some consideration of just how your customers might respond to it and, and engage with it. So, what, I mean, what has uh, been the response and what was that calculation? Well, we, of course, we, we wanted to know what the risks were of speaking out. And frankly, you know, when you, when you speak out, you're always going to have some negatives. But the, the uh, response from not only our customers, but people that, who have contacted the company has just been overwhelmingly positive. Again, uh, this is an important uh, issue, and we want both sides to come together to, to, to get this solved and to get the parks open again. Is the shutdown actually hurting your business? Are you seeing it in the sales? Well, you know, it's uh, not yet, but we would expect that people who want to go outdoors uh, need apparel and need footwear to, to enjoy the outdoors. And we expect that uh, over time, this will definitely have an impact. But frankly, we're thinking about the long term. This is about the assets, uh, as I said, that the country has invested in. Um, thinking about, uh, you know, the, the assets of the Middle East that ISIS, uh, you know, uh, caused so much damage to. You know, we want to make sure that that doesn't happen to our pristine parks and areas that the government has historically protected. You, you're comparing ISIS in action in the Middle East to the, the government shutdown's effect on the national parks? Well, we don't know what's happening in the parks, frankly. You know, the government invests heavily in personnel to make sure that the parks are kept pristine. And when there's no one there, what's happening? Um, what's I mean, it's, that's a big leap, Tim. What's happening versus uh, comparing it to something that, that's pretty dreadful and you know is happening in a negative sense seems like a big leap. But you, you mentioned that you did get a good response from your customers. If it boosts sales, would you continue taking out political ads again? Well, you know, this is, this is an area where we, we typically don't get involved. I mean, these are issues which are incredibly important right now, and we feel it's important to, to raise our voice and to, to say something about what's going on and, and to encourage uh, negotiations to, to conclude this and get the parks back open again. But we'll say other things from time to time, but this is such a critical area. This is, this is the first time that we've ever made an, an investment like this.